Hello, it's Chris from ePianos here. I have on my right the Yamaha CSP170, on my left the CSP150. If you're trying to decide between the two at the minute, this video is for you. You might have noticed there's around a £500 difference between them. I'm going to explain exactly what it is you get for that extra £500 with the CSP170. The main difference between these two models is all in the keys themselves. Now, what do I mean? Come and have a look. Get really close in to the keys. Come closer, 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 and let's have a look. What do you see when I push a key down? These keys on the CSP170 are made out of wood. It's only the white keys, but wooden keys on a piano, of course, is exactly what we get on traditional pianos, on real concert grand pianos. Therefore, CSP170 is very, very authentic in the way that those keys are made and therefore the way they feel. Now CSP 150, let's go and have a look at this one. Come in nice and close. What do we see when we push the keys down on this one? They are plastic. White ones and the black ones are all plastic. Now they're still weighted. They still have this mechanical weight in them so they do feel like a piano to play in many respects but CSP 170 has wooden white keys, 150 has plastic white keys. Why are um, wooden keys a really nice thing? Now, for a pianist, uh, wooden keys, because they're not as dense as plastic keys, they just retract and they bounce back a little bit faster, they're a bit more responsive. So if you have to be very accurate with your playing, if you're doing fast passages, wooden keys are wonderful to play with. I almost can't play anything else when I'm playing with all the toys here in the showroom. Wooden keys are fantastic. So that is the major difference between these two models. So the other really big difference between these two models is the type of amplifiers and speakers they use. Now CSP 170 has two 45 watt amplifiers in there, CSP 150 has two 30 watt amplifiers. So already CSP 170 has a more powerful amplifier setup. When you combine that with the difference in speakers, uh, you'll know what it's all about. CSP 170 has this speaker configuration. It has two 16 centimeter speakers, underneath and two eight centimeters ones on top. But this is the thing I want you to see. This is the really important bit that runs across the bottom. This is the bass speaker underneath and this is what really brings through the richness and the deep sound as you'll hear in the demonstration later on. It gives you way more variation if you're a player that plays with light and shade. You can almost feel your trouser legs flapping when you're playing this one, it's wonderful. And along the top of CSP 170, we have this. These are the eight centimeter um, speakers. This is where they're housed along the top. Sometimes they're called tweeters. Now, if we go over to CSP 150 now, let's have a look. First of all, there's nothing along the top, no speakers at all. Underneath, there is a completely empty cavity. And we do have downward facing speakers, but that big base um, cabinet underneath is missing. So that base register, doesn't come through as much on CSP 150. It's not, it's uh, in comparison, it's a little bit more muffled than the 170, which has got this lovely glassy um, crispiness to it. You can really hear the treble and hear the bass on it. So amplifiers and speakers are quite different on these two models. And that for me is the second most important difference between them. So hopefully you're starting to see now what it is that you're going to get for that extra 500 pounds ish on the CSP 170. There's something else you should really know about and this is the variations in colors. There's two variations of each model. And we happen to have them both here. Um, this one, the one right behind me on the CSP 150 is called the black walnut finish, okay? And I want you to have a really close look at the edges. This is where you're gonna notice the difference. Now, on the edges of this one, you can kind of see where the veneer is joined. And uh, it's, I wouldn't say it's ugly, but when you compare it with the CSP 170's polished ebony finish, have a look, get really close in here and have a look at the edges. Now, I want to reiterate that both models are available in both colors, but polished ebony does add, as you've probably noticed, about three, four hundred pounds to the price. What we're looking at here is 52 layers of polished lacquer. So this is one serious finish and you really notice it around the edges where it's nice and smooth and get a nice look at the, the lid there as well. So it looks much more like a traditional piano. But of course the black walnut that we've got on the 150, it's a lot cheaper, it still kind of looks nice but it's not as special perhaps as the uh, polished ebony finish that we saw 
um, with the 170 there. So I've recorded a little bit of playing for you. Um, let's have a listen and see if you can hear for yourself the difference in the speaker and the amplifier setup between these two models. This is the basic piano sound. <laughs> Let's do the same on CSP 170. I've got to say straight away you can hear those bass speakers coming through, the richness of the sound and the extra treble from the tweeters. Let's do that again. So much more clarity in those in the CSP 170 because of those the more powerful amplifier and the bigger speakers. Let's play the 150 again. Uh, to me, that actually sounds quite muffled. Um, I mean, it's not terrible. I can't knock it completely, but that's that's not nearly as clear as 170. Okay, let's play the same riff on the 170. Can you hear that? It's much more glassy sounding. Okay, so that's basically the big differences in the sound there. Uh, 170, it's got those 245 watt amplifiers, uh, two 16 centimeter speakers, and the eight inch, eight centimeter tweeters as well. That's giving it a much glassier, much richer, much more clarity in the sound. The 150, I've got to do this again. just doesn't kind of cut through as much. Here, let's do it again on the 170 here. Yeah, so much bigger sound from the 170. You could hear it for yourself. Okay, so I hope that was a useful video for you. It's important to know this video has just been about the differences between these two models because everything else is the same. Same amount of keys, same amount of voices built in, same amount of connectivity. There's a slight difference in weight. 170 is a little bit heavier, but you wouldn't even notice it. If you have any questions regarding these models at all, then just leave them in the comment section below, or you can send us an email or give us a ring. Thanks very much for watching. Bye-bye. <laughs>